Okay, this is your new pop. She's not detailed yet, so she's uh, not shiny yet. But she's running great and uh, strong and fast. Uh, had some thick leather. I thought I'd give her a little whirl and see what she did with it. And uh, this is two layers of this thickness of leather. Probably use a little more foot pressure. It's got a leather needle in it right now. But it doesn't appear to have any trouble handling this thickness of leather. And we have some sun tough here that I thought I'd try out too. I put a strong motor on her. Uh, I put a 1.4 amp motor on your uh, Singer 201 and 1591, the, uh, some of the strongest and best of the Singers, have a 0.6 amp motor. And some of the uh, Japanese machines uh, have a 1 amp or a 1.2 amp. And this is a 1.4 amp. So it's a decently strong. Don't have any thick thread to uh, use on this uh, on this umbrella fabric, but we'll sew it with uh, regular thread. Uh, this is two layers of umbrella, And again, I've got my leather needle in it still, but it should be all right for this. Let's do four layers. That's four layers of Sun Tough. Sun Tough. It's not Sun Tough, it's Umbrella. Super fast. Got a brand new belt and uh, been all through her and uh, cleaned all the old sticky oil out of her. And, uh, most of the parts went in the uh, alcohol bath and uh, got the old sticky oil scrubbed off of them. Uh, then they were polished before they were restored to the machine. You know what? That was actually six layers we were sewing. How about that? How about ten layers? I'm sure you're going to do some corners. Yeah, that's pretty thick. I set the presser foot as high as it would go without uh, without the needle clamp making contact with the presser foot <clears throat> when the presser foot is raised. You don't sew with the presser foot raised, so I really could go up a little bit more. Let me think on that. Your motor runs a little bit hot, uh, but I don't think that'll be any problem. Just as with any vintage sewing machine, you want to unplug it when you're not using it. Yeah. Ten layers, no problem. It's a tough machine. We uh, made a uh, pop-up for our trailer out of this umbrella. Uh, 
that's why it's got all this other console thread hanging off of it. But you can see these stitches across here. That's uh, across the 10 layers of this umbrella. So I think that this is going to be a good machine for you. And I guess that's about it. Uh, my detailer is going to uh, get her cleaned up tomorrow and polished and uh, I have to leave. I'm going, uh, I volunteer every summer for a couple of weeks uh, at a non-profit event and I have to leave in the morning. Maybe I can come back and pick up the machine and take her to town and get her shipped. I have to take her to my in-town location and get her packed uh, so I can send her out. The uh, bed on this, as with almost every FOP 130, the paint's a little bit crackled, uh, but that's just the way they are. Um, but we'll make her look just as nice as we can, and uh, I hope you're as happy with her as we are.